Hey there, Fletcher from All Things Overlanding here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough of the interior and all the features of my 2023 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. I do have the technology package and the convenience package. The reason I'm making this video is for people that are maybe thinking about getting this truck, if you just want to get an idea of what the interior of the Nissan Frontier 2023 is like. So let's start up front here. I will say, having been a Nissan person my whole life, that I am really impressed with this interior. Like, no hate for Nissan at all in the past, but their interiors have never been super nice. Now in this truck, it is super nice. So a couple things. The, I actually really like the sort of orange accents down here in the door. Those come on the Pro 4X, just kind of like nice uh, accents just to kind of spice things up a little bit. I think it makes the truck look a little bit cooler, a little bit more rugged. Same with these sort of grab handles down here with the orange stitching and the soft touch leather and then the orange accents inside of it. Same goes for the dash up here, right? So on the Pro 4X again, you get this sort of soft touch dash with the orange stitching. It comes down through the seats. I really like the door handles there, you know, there's stitching and again, really super soft touch leather there. And these Pro 4X seats are beautiful. Like I thought about the option for the leather and I decided against it because I actually really like these cloth seats. I just think they're sharp looking and to me it didn't seem worth the money to uh, go with the leather. Um, that carries through to the back too. So the back seat does look very nice too. That center console drops down there and has two cup holders in it, which is really nice. Again, keeping this short and to the point though, I just want to kind of give you a brief overview of all the features here. So you've got a huge, I think it's an 8.4 inch touchscreen here. It's massive. It looks great. You know, you can sort of select your source. You can do a bunch of stuff. I mean, the screen's display quality is just really, really good. You've got wireless Apple CarPlay, at least on this one. Mine has the technology package and the convenience package. The only package it doesn't have is the one that adds leather and a sunroof. But with this stuff, you get this really nice screen, wireless Apple CarPlay. One of my favorite things is you get the around view camera. So you can actually see like a top down view of your truck, everything around it. So if you're parking in a tight garage or a tight parking space, you can see that. If you're off-roading, you've got this front facing camera that'll show you what's up front. And if you look here closely, that gray bar down there is actually the bumper. So it faces almost directly down, which is really nice because you can actually see like if you're coming up on an obstacle or a rock, um, if you're trying to park in a really tight garage, again, I use it all the time to make sure that I get as close as I possibly can to the front of the garage without hitting anything. So that's really great. Now the around view is also awesome especially for like off-roading and things like that and you can engage it just by clicking this camera button now if you hit it again it changes to where you have the front view but then you also have this passenger side view and the nice thing about that is you can see where your tires are at on the passenger side so obviously you can't see out that side of the truck you could hang your head out the window of the driver's side to see where your tires are over here for going over obstacles and things like that but i like that they put that thought into it so that if you are you know maybe there's an obstacle over to the right to the passenger side you can line up your tires and see exactly where they're at and then get up on that obstacle easier so i really like that <clears throat> then you hit it again and it goes away um down here the next sort of thing that i will point out is that this one does have uh, auto on and off for the engine so if you pull up to a stoplight if you do a lot of stop and go driving in the city you can you know leave this on it defaults to on every time you get in the vehicle if you want to turn it off you just hit this button to turn it off it does save a fair amount of fuel though i've i've been using it a little bit around town i do worry a bit about the longevity of the starter though so most of the time i will probably turn it off if i'm going off-roading i would definitely turn it off but around town in the city it's kind of a nice feature then going down here, we've got dual zone climate control, pretty standard stuff, right? On off, fan controls, mode, whether you want the AC on or not. You can push this auto and it will just go to the settings that you've got. It will control the fan, it will do everything for you, which is really nice, but that's the air con stuff down there. Now over here to the left, you've got your two wheel drive button. You know, you just like the old Frontiers, you switch it up to four high, to switch into four high, you depress the switch and turn it over to four low and it will go to four low. Works like a dream though, super easy to use, uh, pretty straightforward. Now moving down here, again with the tech package and the convenience package, actually I think the convenience package includes a lot of this stuff, you do get heated cloth seats on both front seats. And you've got controls here for high and low. You also get a heated steering wheel, which is really nice. And the steering wheel is a really nice like leather wrapped unit and it works great and it heats up really quick, just like the seats. So I love that. 
then you've got your parking sensor. So in addition to that around view camera, you've also got sonar. So it will actually beep at you and tell you if you're about to hit something behind you. It will even auto brake if it detects like a person or something moving behind you or an obstacle behind you. So it's kind of nice, but you can disable it by pushing that button. Now over here, you've got a USB-C and a USB-A charger, which I really like because most of my stuff charges off that now. And then you've got a DC plug up here, which I'm using for my Garmin Overlander. Of course, it's push button start. That's kind of over here. It's kind of small and it's kind of out of the way. So that's the only sort of, you know, gripe I've got about it. I think my wife's pilot, it's kind of like up here and it's a big button. So it does take me a, a second every time just to kind of find that until I get used to it. But it's fine, right? It works just fine. Um, down here, you've got a little cubby hole with a removable mat, so it makes it easy to clean. You've got a couple of nice size cup holders in here of course then you've got the normal park reverse neutral drive and if you push the gear selector over to the left you can manually select what gear you want to be in and manually shift your transmission for like engine braking and things like that which is really nice now i will point out this truck has the fender premium audio which means basically that it's got six different speakers two up here on the dash two in the doors two in the back doors and then it's got a subwoofer behind me and below this seat so like right down here you see that box down there that box down there is actually my subwoofer which is pretty cool so now going over here to the other side of the steering wheel you've got tow mode here which is just an on off switch it does show up on your dash there it says tow when you're in that just helps with shifting and things like that of course then you've got your brightness for your dash you've got a trip reset down here you've got your audible beeps for your surround view sonar stuff. So if you wanna just turn off the sounds, the beeping, you know, if you're changing lanes or, or there's a car beside you, you can change those off. So then going down here below, you've got a cargo lamp button right there, which basically just turns on the lights in the rear of the truck. Now this truck is equipped with side mounted under bed LED lights, which is really nice. So it actually lights up the whole bed. Beside that is your hill descent. So if you hit that button, it will help you slow the vehicle with engine braking to go down the hill. You can, turn off your traction control down there and then down here is your locker button so if you want to turn your locker on and off you just hit that button when you're off road and it will engage the locker for you the pro 4x's do all come with a locker by default which is really really nice that's part of the reason that i got this truck is it will give it some more capability as i sort of start to build the truck so then really quick sort of touching on some of the features on the steering wheel not a ton here that's out of the ordinary right you've got your cruise control on off you've got xl decel cancel up above that one cool thing is it does have with the technology package adjustable uh, cruise control so it will automatically slow you down as you're coming up on traffic if you hit this button it it changes the distance at which that kicks in and starts to slow you down so if you're too close and you want to change it you just hit that a couple times and it will back you up so that you can get a little bit closer to people now on this side you've got your phone controls if you want to you know work your phone remotely from the steering wheel you can hit those buttons or that to talk to siri um, you've got your volume up and down you've got this enter button here which you can depress and then an up and a down on that now that will allow you to switch songs source allows you to switch source these arrows here were a little confusing to me and i will show you what they do so when you're looking at the dash here as i hit the arrow there are a bunch of different settings down here so you see those all these things at the bottom the little wheel the you know driving aids so you can literally go through this it also uses the cameras to see the speed limit of signs around you so it'll look at the speed limits on signs and it will record those for you and then it will tell you what speed limit is that pops up at the top here where it says limit that little white thing there so that if you you know haven't seen a sign in a little while the camera will keep track of it and it will tell you what speed limit sign it saw last which is really pretty nice um, as you keep going here it will tell you like direction northeast southwest if you're playing music on Apple CarPlay, it will tell you the name of the song and that stuff on that one. So this arrow thing actually sort of switches you through different uh, modes of display that you wanna see. So fuel economy, driving, it'll tell you how many miles you've driven, how much time, how what your average MPG is. You can customize these auxiliary gauges, so to see your oil pressure, temperature, battery. These are like auxiliary gauges, so you can see everything in here. You got battery and temp. Now, this is pretty cool. It does have an off-road mode that will sort of show you, you know, how much uh, degrees of camber you've got, you know, how off-center you are. It'll tell you what you're, you know, you're in. 4x2, four 4x4, four four. if the locker's engaged, it will give you kind of a visual display of exactly what you're using on the truck right now, which is pretty cool. Of course, you've got auto lights, and the fog light thing is right back here, so you can just sort of switch that back one on and off. The lights are LED, both the headlights and the fog lights, which is a really nice feature. So that's pretty much it for the interior. So one other thing that I did want to point out is that under the 60% split, which is on the passenger side back here, there is storage under the seat, which is pretty nice. Now again, with the Fender 
pro audio selection here under the 40 percent side there is a subwoofer so there's no storage down there just fyi and let's show you inside the center console here really quick i've got some mints and stuff it's pretty standard pretty sparse in here there's no coin holders or anything like that it's just a big deep pocket for dropping stuff in now you do have some options to hold some pens or writing utensils things like that up here in the lid but that's about it one more quick thing that i wanted to show you as part of this video is the way that the back seats work, which is actually really cool, I think, and pretty unique. So a lot of these have either like a fixed back and you can only sort of pull up on a lever like this and then raise the bottom of the seat. With this one, you've got two options. So there's actually a little pull handle up here on the top. You can pull that, and if I didn't have stuff in the way, you can pull that up there. And then this will actually, with the headrests out, this will fold flat back here. So you can put stuff on top of it. You could slide things in here, which is really pretty nice. Then the other option is you can pull this handle right down here and then you can lift the bottom of the seat there and then you've got storage under the seat and things like that. Um, with the Pro 4X, I also did get the rubber floor mats, which are really nice and they cover even the center hump here too, which I love. So the whole back seat and the whole front seat covered up by rubber floor mats, so it's gonna be protected for a long time. Then as I mentioned, You've got a little armrest here for both passengers in the back and it's got two cup holders in it. So that's pretty nice. All right, so that was the really quick overview of the interior of the truck and kind of some of the features and stuff that come on it. So again, if you're thinking about one of these trucks and you just wanted to see a really quick walkthrough of what all's in the truck, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, click that like button. If you are looking for more content around the third gen Nissan Frontier, this is the channel for you. Click that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple videos every week about overlanding. That's kind of my thing. I like to go camping, over overlanding, go explore in my vehicle and, and sort of be dependent on the vehicle. Uh, but also there's going to be a ton of DIY stuff, maintenance stuff on this, modifications, upgrades coming in the near future. So if you're into any of that stuff, click that subscribe button. Also in the description below are going to be links to all my other social channels. So wherever you want to hang out, come hang out. And then last but not least, there's Patreon down there. We've got a Discord going with that. And there's also the Newbie Overlanders Facebook group. So again, if you're into overlanding, if you're kind of newer to it, or if you want to come to a place that's not full of a bunch of jerks trying to yell at everybody and make fun of everybody. This is the place for you. We'd love to have you. Um, but again, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys and we will see you next time.